Hey guys, hey guys, it's Danny with Landscape Solutions. Um, this, sorry, this is an impromptu video. I wasn't really prepared to do this, so uh, forgive me if I stutter around a little bit. But I've been asked a couple times over the last few months, actually twice in the last uh, month or so, uh, landscape companies have even, I've had two different landscape companies email me and ask me why our flowers look so much different from the flowers that they install. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do a quick walk around of one of our clients' houses and then um, We'll do, a, I'll show you what the neighbor's houses look like. And then I'll tell you, at the end of the video, I'll tell you how to get the flowers uh, at your house uh, to look like the flowers at the properties that we take care of. So, let me show you what our flowers look like. Again, sorry about the, the noise, just people pressure washing next door, cars going by. But, most of the time, guys, these flowers are supposed to be uh, switched out around the end of March because it just gets too hot. These are New Guinea impatience. But you can see we're halfway through April and ours are still blooming, still looking awesome. The entire house, all the way across, looks good. I mean, it looks better than good. The flowers are booming. Let me show you what the neighbor's house looks like. So this is our house. All the way across, all the flowers look like this. Now, when you look straight across the street, you see this. This is what their flowers look like. At the end of the video, I'm going to tell you how to get the flowers to look like they do at our place. street and this is our house. You can see these are Royal Magenta New Guinea Impatience. There's some Pringles right behind them here. Those are Pringles. Has some Croton Magnificence. Some Fafrea Petita here. So let me walk around back. I'm going to save this video and I'll put it on our Facebook page and our Instagram page and our YouTube channel. So you can see all the way around, flowers look great. Then we'll go back and look at the backyard. You can see we've got some Clusia here. The key to Clusia is you have to hand trim it. See how we, we, we cut these right here by hand, and then you get all the soft growth on the top. That's how you keep them looking so soft and not chopped up. That's how Clusy is supposed to look. That's perfect. So it's never, never been more true than it is in landscaping, guys. You get what you pay for. So again, Some flowers around it. We did a kind of a ball flower look here. And you'll see we don't have a single dead flower. None of our flowers are burning. None of our flowers look like they're ready to come out. It looks like they just went in. I mean, they're booming. I don't know if the sun's gonna let you see these. I can't really see what the camera is seeing because it's so bright out here right now. Again, it's 90 degrees outside right now. The New Guinean patients aren't supposed to be doing very good in this side. But at the end of the video, I'll tell you how to get your flowers, how to get your full patio to look like this. And this goes all the way around. I'll walk around here, still doing a little bit of construction on the full patio. So these are the pots that we put in. You see, they look great. See any irrigation lines running into them? Because we run the irrigation line up through the bottom of the pot. And over here, we've got the bougainvillea. We've got more pottery here. We've got the bougainvillea with the New Guinea impatience. Another bougainvillea. 
another bougainvillea. And look at the flowers. They're just, I mean, they're ridiculous how, how good these things look. All the way around the yard. And then here's three more pots. We did a wildflower look. If you've got questions about any of this, just let me know. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate that. Josh Ravencraft knows what landscape looks like. He does it. He knows how to do it. He knows it's not easy. But again, there's a this is a this is called a Seminole Bombaya. This will get really big. This will get up above the fence. This will get up this about this tall. Um, in a big in a big mushroom, big mushroom shape there. Um, you know, this is this is what you pay for. These kinds of houses, guys. This view, the lake, the golf course. There's a gator right there in the water. So this is you get what you pay for. I mean, there's no there's no other way to say it. I mean, look at this. I showed you the neighbor's house across the street. Look at their house. Look at our house. Seminole pink hibiscus, just bursting. I mean, that is a happy plant right there, which is good. Lots of bees around, pollinating everything. I hear the birds chirping, they're happy. All the way around, I mean, look at this house. White flowers are, uh, they're, they're New Guinea impatiens as well, Josh. These right here are New Guinea impatiens. These are white. These are royal magenta. Down here in South Florida, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm in West Palm, just, just above West Palm, about an hour north of Miami. You know, we're, we've been in the 90s, high 80s, low 90s for, for weeks. And New Guinea impatiens, they're not supposed to be doing good in this kind of weather. But like I said, in the video I'll tell you how to get your flowers to look like this and again we'll post this on our Instagram page our Facebook page or our YouTube channel if you guys you know subscribe to all of those and, and we'll periodically post them some pointers but there's very little you can find wrong with, with our houses guys I mean the mulch gets touched up every week I mean look at the mulch it's the mulch is I say perfect but pretty close. Grass looks great. All the plants are booming. Got some big clusia here. Again, we'll walk back around front. I'm going to show you one more time, guys. Oh, and, and clusia. Don't ever, guys, if you have clusi in your house at, at your properties, don't ever cut these with hedge clippers, with with, 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 a, with, pat, with, with gas power trimmers. You have to cut these by hand. See right here? Right here is where we cut this with, with, a, pair, with a pair of hand snips. Just pinch it with a pair of hand snips, and it cuts it right here. And then you get all of this soft growth that comes up. And this is a nice, soft plant. It's a soft look. You see, it's still, still really, really even across the top. And we don't do that with, with hedge trimmers. We do that by hand, and it takes time. And that's why it's you know a little more expensive to have it done correctly. So again, let me just show you guys one more time, real quick, what what the neighbor's house looks like compared to our house. So this is ours. This is Landscape Solutions. Thanks, Kelly. Appreciate that. Again, if you got any questions about what any of these plants are, shoot us a message and we'll let you know. But again, guys, I'm going to tell you right now how to get your flowers to look like this instead of like this. This is across the street.
that's what you're going for, you know, don't call us. We're not, we're not your, your company for that. So now for the big reveal, how to get your flowers to look like this. I'm sure everybody's chomping at the bit tonight. It's easy. Call us. That's it. There's a certain way you have to plant these flowers. There's very specific fertilizer you have to use. And let me show you an example of the, the correct fertilizer versus the wrong fertilizer. This is the correct fertilizer. You see how tight these plants are? How small they are? They're, they're below your knees. They're not very tall at all. They're below your knees. They're low. Okay? And look across the street. These are the same flowers. They're Nergenium patients, but they're halfway up the palm tree. They're at least three feet tall. I mean, look at this guy walking by. They're up to his waist. Look, look at this, up to his chest. You see how tall those are? That is way too much nitrogen on your flowers. It forces them to grow tall, to grow up. With the correct fertilizer, you just get blooms. That's all you get, flowers. That's it. Sorry, I just had a phone call there. But the video clicked out for a minute. But this is it, guys. I mean, this this is what this is. You get what you pay for with Landscape Solutions. So again, if you have any questions on what any of these plants are, or you want some pointers or tips on, on how to get them to look like this, even though we're going into May now, these should have been pulled in March at most houses, like across the street. Shoot us a message. Or give us a call, guys. Let's go to our Facebook page. Give us a call. My, my cell number is 561-808-3235. Give us a call. Email us. Facebook messages. Whatever you want to do. If you're local here in South Florida, we'd love to help you out.